starting, reversing, moving ahead, moving astern has always been a problem. Maneuvering diagram ke upar jaldi hi I will be making a separate package whether for RT flex engines or ME engines or MC engines that is, that's a promise. But in this video we are going to run how a reversing of a ME engine takes place especially on air. Chief Engineer Orvin Singh sir has done a fabulous job guys. Please watch this video learn and grow. Jai Matadi. Hey guys welcome back. So here we can discuss that how can we reverse if if there is no conventional reversing mechanism uh, just like an MC engine but in ME electronic engine then how would we reverse the engine on air I'm talking about fuel we can see later but when I'm giving an air kick suppose I want to turn the engine ahead and the next cycle next uh, maybe next time I want to do it I am wanting to turn it as turn so how will that happen let us try to understand in the maneuvering system itself okay so this part I hope you have seen well in the, my previous video and how does this function. Now when we talk about the reversing what exactly that means is that when I give a kick my air should go in such a manner that when previously it was going ahead and now I am wanting it to turn at a stern so the way the air should is going starting air is going into the cylinder is differently this time because that only will make it turn as turn. So all the control first of all is in the hand of the MPCs only. So there is no mechanical thing that is reversing here. Everything is controlled by MPC. And what is the important factor here which is doing it? First of all this part is common. Common for all the units. So this can't help in reversing. Specific to the unit electrical part specific to the unit will only reverse it right okay so that means this this is the only electrical part here which is specific to the unit similarly you have same thing for the number two unit three four five six meaning what this is coming from ccu by the way ccu all right so use ccu some channel output channel digital output channel is giving this signal okay open but when to open and what crank angle to open this is what impa plays important part in the reversing so first of all let's say the normal firing order for head rotation is this one for the six unit uh, engine i'm talking about one five three four two six and then repeat again one five three four two six so firing order is same and air injection is also air entry will also be the same one then five then three then four then two then six like that so let us understand try and understand here so if my uh, crank angle position is like this number one unit is at TDC in that case and and let's say clockwise rotation is ahead rotation ahead rotation then six units will be all of them will be 60 degrees so five and one will be 60 degree apart 360 divided by one full rotation divided by six units so each unit is 60 degrees okay all right that means when the unit number one is here five should be here five crank web should be here number three crank web number four two six one five three four two six because when this unit the crank web will uh, will reach like when I add rotation and when it is going like this when five reach here sorry when one reach here here when one reaches here here will be preceded by five so five will reach on the top so the next turn should be for the number five right again five will reach here and here what will reach three number three unit will reach here so the air will also go in the same fashion it will go here then this is number one is going there then it will go to number five so this is for the ahead rotation now let's say I want to do in the same sequence I want to do the S turn rotation this is the this is how it is stopped now engine is stopped in this condition unit one is at TDC 
and that's the way but this time i want to do it as turn so in that case after one i will be giving to six then two four three five so you can see it easily this is the sequence of order of firing or starting here in the strand rotation one six two four three five that's the astron sequence if i had is 153426 fine so let's give an air in case of i want to rotate it in uh, anti clockwise or basically astron i want to do it this side like this astron so for that what i'll do of course i'll give it to one but remember starting air is always overlapping that's a that's a normal thing so that means it will go to at least two units if there's an overlap so which two units it will go so of course it is going to one if it is at tdc it will start going to one but apart from this it also got goes to so if i'm going to do it so it is also going to five so presently it will go to this these two units okay and this is when I am trying to turn it as turn. So I will send it to these two units together and 5 will surely apply some torque. If this is a dead center, number 1 is a dead center, may not be enough torque but 5 will enough provide enough torque. So this will start to turn like this and 1 will go here. So after 1, which unit will come as per the order? 6. So when 1 reaches, 6 reaches on the top. So next number will be for the 6. So 1 and 6 will, will get air. Then 6 will come on the top. And 6 will come here then. 6 and 2 will get uh, the air when the 2 is on the top and 6 is here. So like that. The sequence goes on. So at any given time 2 units will be supplied with the air. So right. So that sequence will be there. So it's pretty easy. In whatever condition the engine is stopped in. 2 units will get the air. And it is simply the CCU which will decide which unit sh should I be sending? So CCU knows which unit is at what angle. It's just the program is there. For ahead running, uh, signal goes to the program. Oh, uh, the, the request is for ahead. So it knows the sequence of which after which unit will, will come what unit. So reversing is not mechanical. It's just in the brain of CCU. And just remember that the pilot air signal from the... Uh, CCU, pilot, signal to the pilot air, is the one that is actually reversing the engine. Starting actually, the air uh, turning of the engine in the reverse order. So that's all for now, gentlemen. I hope you understood the concept of reversing when we're talking about the air. For fuel also, we, it's pretty simple. We'll talk, when we talk about the FIVA, we'll talk about that later. Thank you so much.